What's up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's fish tanks bringing it to you on a Thursday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So, Dusty has been playing in the greenhouse and um, having an absolute riot with the two, I might add. Uh, it's always fun to have a new project and to be messing around with something. So, I have decided to show y'all what I got going on as I sit in the mosquito haven that slowly starts around this time of night to bring it to you all. So, here's what's up. Um, don't know if you noticed, but I got a lot of fish tanks in the greenhouse, probably too many, and I am uh, trying to consolidate and like pull everything together. Uh, I've got a system that I'm kind of trying out, and I'm in the stair stage, so I'm kind of like looking for some feedback from you all on what I got going on here. But uh, today, my boy Josh and I moved a 120 gallon aquarium, just he and I, with fish in it. That's right. Uh, I'm like totally loving having the fish in it. And these are actually like really awesome fish that I'm really, really enjoying. I'm gonna try to move the phone here for you all. And um, yeah, so these fish, this is the library. So go figure, I moved the tank that has absolutely the most fish in it at once this one down here so we moved the 125 today and it was really tough but I want to talk about why I moved the 125 and um, why I moved the 125 and what I'm trying to do with it and it's pretty fun because I am trying to make more space and I wasn't utilizing the space underneath here and um, now I'm able to I had like I had this stack three high so I have one here one here and then one here and the 125 sat above it and then now I have it lowered so I've got it lowered but I want to make note that you'll notice that it's not actually um, on the ground and I intentionally did not put it on the ground because I want to have to able to siphon down off the bottom of it so like if it's all the way on the ground it's a lot harder to siphon out of and actually get all the way bottom so I have it just slightly above the ground look at my beautiful legs right there Notice D's knee right here. You got the little surgery action happening. So, yeah. And um, so I got it lowered, but I want to talk about kind of why I was doing that. And the goal with it really is simple. I want to have more space, and I'm trying to utilize more vertical space in the greenhouse here. So I've got, uh, when I built the greenhouse too, many, many, many moons ago, I actually uh, had it lowered right here. And let's see here. I've got it. I'll show you all this right here. One second here, I might have to boot somebody. No, all right, remove, there you go. Um, I actually, when I did the greenhouse, I'll show you that. I put it down here like this, so I, I've actually built it up just slightly bit higher. And uh, that worked out really well. Look at that camera, that's a pretty solid camera. So I built it just a little bit higher up. And uh, I did that intentionally so that I could walk around and be like up here like this, so I used more vertical space. Well, I wish I had gone higher. So now I'm sitting here and I'll, flip it around those of you Christy on both the Facebook live that saw this and are seeing this uh, thanks for checking it out so I've lowered this down so now I'm thinking like all right how am I gonna get and what am I gonna do to uh, utilize the space above here so I've got and I'll grab the tape measure I've got is a trusty tape measure right here um, and I've got it I've got about 20 call it I'm gonna call it 22 inches from here to the shelf above and what I'm thinking about doing is uh, like working in a rack with it but I'm in the stair stage so like Josh came over today if you guys haven't seen Josh Josh is the best hire I've ever made like dudes an animal does whatever I want and sprints to do it so he's a total beast you guys can you see my scar from my surgery right here check that out that's where they took they fixed my knee but anyway um, so he came over, we did it, and he was like, let's do phase two, let's do phase two. And I'm like, no, 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 Phase one is just get the tank down. So now I'm in the looking phase. So I'd love your guys' feedback on this. Part of the reason I'm doing this live uh, is to like from where to go to here. So I have this open space. I'm going to talk about some ideas. Fundamentally, I want you guys to understand that what I did with this was actually very easy. A lot of people say that they... Uh, that they like don't want to dirt their tank or they have problems moving it like we moved to 125 with water in it today like it was no big deal so it was no no problems so uh what i did to do that i actually took this one right here and i had this 40 breeder right there 
and uh, there we go. Can you guys see that? That or excuse me, 40 tall. And I just drained water out of this tank right here. It was real simple. Like I just had this bad boy right here, and I it was up higher, and I just uh, siphoned the water out, and I got some of these really really wicked fish out of it. You'll see some of these fish right here. So I got those fish up and out of there, particularly that one right there. Oh, son, tell me how you like that liar tail. And I did that, and uh, I lowered it down. It was not easy to do. And what did we do? We moved it. We only took it. We took it down about that far. And the trick to doing it is we took it and we did it in eight-inch chunks. Okay, so it was me and Josh. And what we the first time we did it, it was stupid. We took uh, we took it all the way over down uh we said we set a secondary set of blocks right next to it reef blues a baby that's what's up and uh we put a secondary set of three see three blocks high and we just slid it over then from there we slid it over then we went down a notch so we took uh, the next layer was two cinder blocks tall and i've got videos on how to do it and then, then we went to the two layer and then we went down to one and then the last layer was actually really easy we just slid it all the way over so now it sits on one cinder block high as you guys can see there and uh, it's good to go. So now I can still use my siphon action I got right here. So I can still like drain it out. Uh, I'm still pretty stoked about how it went down. So that's what I'm doing. The question becomes, uh, what can I do? Don't tease you with liar. Oh, I'll tease you, Karen, all day. Um, the the liar the liar tails. The question is now though, like I'm gonna flip this around here. Is what do I do with this space here? So I've got these tanks. Um, you guys can see this guy right here. Check him out. How sick is that fish? As I pick food out of my teeth. Um, so I've got these guys here. So now it's like, all right, my dude Josh and my dude Jacob, who helped me with the plants, are not, they're not as tall as me. So it's like, I can reach to the bottom of that tank, no problem, but they can't. So I was thinking, going here and taking it down a layer and then using a four by four. You'll notice this is Boeing. Like this is not no bueno. Uh, it's bending. I've actually like reinforced it with some metal too and it's still bending, but whatever you guys see that but um, I was thinking that and then Josh was like yo. He's like, why don't we uh Yeah, Josh was like dude Why don't we leave this this tall as it is and then do a secondary layer behind here? Which I kind of like the idea of so that's why I'm on here. I want to I want to talk about this I was thinking about doing a layer um, obviously as, as the lovely Christy points out I put a, a secondary thing behind there, like a support in the middle. But then I was thinking, all right, could I do something behind here and like set 10 gallons back? And uh, yeah, no, four by fours is what I'm gonna use, Ted, good call. And um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking is like, all right, like maybe I can do this. Um, and a thousand videos, yes. And then I could do a block behind. It would kind of kill some of the light though, which sucks, because I like that the light comes through here. You can see out into my lovely frolicking backyard so the cinder blocks behind would ruin some of the light on my fish uh currently and that you know i mean i do grow plants so i'm not really sure what to do maybe i could do like uh cinder blocks here a stack of cinders there and then a stack of cinders there and then run a piece of wood in between them and just set like a 10 gallon there i got the 10 right there the kabamba 10 in your face in your face with the mace right here but um not really sure on that so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm scheming, what I'm thinking. I did have, I will say, I did have one casualty today. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but I did have one casualty. I lost one of the uh, these little pineapple swords. I'll show you these guys right here. I lost one of those. Uh, the female, her, her, not her. That one coming towards me. I lost one of those. The big fat one. And uh, she jumped out, and I didn't catch her, and she's been floating around. I put her back in. She swam for a minute, and then she, then she kicked the bucket. So whatever. Obviously, I still have the really wicked, um, still have the real wicked liar tail, though. So, I'm just kind of scheming what I'm trying to do here and uh, figure it out. But I think it's an important lesson. The bottom line lesson would be this. Uh, go careful and do your projects in phases. Like, I'm actually, oh, shit, the flakes got wet. Ah, the flakes got wet today. I'll feed them for you guys. But do your projects in phases. Like, have like take your time and really figure out like where where do you what do you really want because i'm totally altering my plan look at that look at him just getting right after it. go ahead take a bite of her but i'm altering my plan based on uh what uh i'm seeing once i'm in here oh the other part of it too is they want to scoot the, the tanks out which i'm not really uh i'm not really digging doing because i've got them in line like i've got this one here that one there so 
So I don't really know if I want to scoot them forward. It might be a good idea. But uh, I'm going to do Q&A in a second here. And I want to show you guys these guys all eating happy. And though, so this tank basically got like 80% uh, water change down. And then I got refilled back up. I filled it back up about that far. Let the fish have a break. And then I drained it back down. And I got to give credit to the people that make these... Uh, these inline water heaters that thing was awesome like the temperature comes out the exact same into here another problem that i have too is i have this this is coming down so like i got this water running like big p well it's kind of splashing up on the top here you can see that so just trying to figure it out figure it out like that first track anybody sasha's fans so yeah, so lost one thing, DIY, th this ain't collapsing by the way with cinder blocks like that. So I'm just saying this can collapse, that's not going anywhere. So I'm digging it and it's time for Q&A. Let's check the battery on D's phone real quick. Nah, we can't check it. Let's just talk to y'all. Can you want to talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk or do you want to see the fat ass uh, black hamburgers I got? Cause I can show you those too, you know? We can do it all tonight, folks. We can do it all. What do you think about shrimp? I like shrimp. Let me show you the Hamburg Blacks, though. Want to see how to grow jungle out? There you go. That's how you grow jungle out. And actually, that's got a little bit of haze to it. Josh was selling some shit out of here today, apparently. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's going. Can we talk? Can we talk? I don't want to talk. All you ever want to do is talk. Hey, here, guys. Let's do it. You ready? Eat up, you big bastards. You fat black bastards. Let's go. Boom, eat, come on, you're on camera. They ate on camera the other day. If you're not following me on Facebook or Instagram, they totally were pounding it up. So yeah, and you guys get it in the daylight too. You do not want to talk. Oh, I know, Christy, it's tough, right? Look at that, it's fat fish. You like those fish? I think those are better than me talking. I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, pretty sick, huh? I like them. I'm a fan, and then look at that, a baby. We're having a baby. We got some babies. It's real easy. You get a bunch of like fluffy little, uh, fluffy little fish or fluffy little plants, and the fish just breed like crazy in them. I mean, I want to breed in there. These are called Hamburg Blacks right here. Hamburg Blacks, and they are fat. I like. It. Remember to subscribe and share. Christy says, "Yeah, if you guys would subscribe, that'd help me out. You know, support your boy." This is the. Uh, I'm gonna drop this cord here. This is the uh, the downside of importing plants right here. You have some some swill that comes in. You can't sell. Do you have enough room for a third tier? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. There's this this fat mama right here. She uh she breeds, even though she's got a little crunk tail. She's still breeding. She's still breeding. What are the fluffy ones called? That is called uh Meriophyllum tube or something. I forget the name. 118 watching. Remember to like. Yeah, cool. So I got the babies in here. Oh, there's all the babies. Look at all the babies down there, folks. I reckon we got some babies in here. Oh, by the way, D talked to somebody about a loan today for a new greenhouse. Can you imagine how many hours a day I would spend in a new greenhouse? As if I don't spend enough time here. Like them? You liking it? You enjoying it? Are worms inside of my tank glass normal? Very small. I have fish. They'll eat them. All right, cool. Which is the skank tank? They're all skank tanks. They're all skank tanks. Even those big skanks right there. And I actually saw these two uh, getting busy. I don't know who's breeding with who. I just know they're getting after it. So I'm pumped. And there's all the babies. Look at all that. We got babies. We got babies. We got babies. I guess I'll give some Q&A some time. Another greenhouse. Dang. I know. It's tight. It's 180 feet by 36 feet. I'll have dreams about it. All right. So let's flip the camera around. Let's talk to the fish tank people who I can't actually talk to, but I want to talk to, but we live in a YouTube world. Unless you're going to Reef Blues the June 24th and 25th, in which case we will hang out live and I'll shake your hand and see that you're actually live people and not YouTube comments. So without further ado, folks, um, what's up? Let's, uh, let's hang out. Who wants some Q&A? Who wants some Q&A in this mofo? Uh, Christy asked what we're going to do with the fry. I'm going to give them to you. Reef Palooza, girl. What the hell else am I going to do with them? Let me set my fish food down here. This, by the way, is how you do it. You have a plan. Whiteboards are orgasm. I said it. This was phase one. Need six cinder blocks. Lower it down. We lowered it down. We got the six cinder blocks. And this is phase two. What's phase two? We don't know. So, yeah. That was phase one. Now we're working on phase two. So, okay. All right. 
So let's talk some more. Can I lean on something? Can I plug something in maybe? I don't know. What's up? All right, where are you from? I am from Findlay, Ohio, home of Big Ben, Rape Your Daughter, Roethlisberger. Uh, let's see here. What's up? Yo, I'm only using, I'm moving back here. Moving back, moving back, moving back. Uh, okay. Does the tank have soil? No, skank tank, FTW. Neon, you know what's up with skanks, man. You be skanking on my videos since day one. Uh, where's the weed at? That weed ain't here, man. I, everybody's like, everybody's like always asking me, like, dude, you grow weed in the greenhouse? Like, I have 95,000 YouTube subscribers. Like, this would be the last place I would grow weed. Like, think about that. Like, you have a greenhouse in your backyard, and you're a, like, per public person. Like, why would I possibly grow weed in my greenhouse? I love it when people ask me that. Dude, where are you growing weed in that greenhouse? Like, yeah, I'm going to grow weed in, uh, uh, on a YouTube channel. Sorry. All right. Jeremy Watson, I'm using Seachem fluoride. Water's always been particle deposits being over filtered because of the substrate. Do I need to cap it with something? Nah, man, just do your big water changes. That fl fluoride is, is a good substrate, dude. I can't imagine it being too big of a problem for you. Uh, are those, those are awesome. Selling, selling what? I don't know. Fred Savage, by the way, I ran today. Can you tell? Can you hear it in my voice and my bravado, the way I'm trying to bring it to you all? Uh, every day with my new knee. It's not a new it's the same name. Uh, did you send shrimp to the no maintenance red tank? No, I did not. Um, oh, I, which, the, the, the B26 in the basement has shrimp. The uh, other one does not yet. Uh, where are you from? Finley, Ohio, Chicago. Got you, Christy. Bring it. How do you tell if a guppy's ready to give birth? They get really, really fat, swim around a lot. Uh, what do you feed your shrimp? I don't. I put them in a hornwort. I give them a lot of uh, java fern and java moss. That's it. How would you recommend doing a water change in a fry tank without sucking up to fish? Be careful, John Fiddler. Just be careful. There's babies in there. Come on. I had four koi, and one won't grow help. I've had the oven for a year. Because one of them is probably a low-quality koi. And a low-quality koi will not grow as fast as a high-quality koi. Which is why I have some big-ass koi in my greenhouse, and I have some small-ass, or in my garden pond, and some smaller ones. How are you working on phase two if you don't know what it is? I don't know what it is. That's the point. I don't know what phase two is. I'm just, just scheming phase two. I'm just thinking. I'm just prepping. I'm just scheming. Don't know. We're going to think about it, and then we're going to reactivate. We're going to ask the YouTube channel, the mighty YouTube channel, and see what they think. And uh, we'll go from there. How do you feel about flatworms crawling in a planted tank? I feel like fish should be eating them. You ever bred betas? No. I've never even kept a female beta. But uh, are German blue rams good community fish? They are, but they're hard to keep. They like that low pH. Hi Dustin, started a 20 dirted tank. Dust looking for substrate. Uh, there's like, yeah, you're gonna have Dominique, you're gonna have stuff come in your filters, man. It's just how it's gonna be. I'm King Skanker. Fred Savage is the King Skanker. Hello, I'm from the UK. It's a, isn't it like mega late in the UK right now? What time is it in the UK right now? Dustin, does using soil help when starting a planted tank? Oh, come on, come on, for real. You're talking to Dustin about that. Uh, what stuff should you use on top of the soil? I use, uh, well, I use organic choice mix under, and then on top I use BB gun size, BB gravel. Hey, want to load my tank with plants? What's the best substrate for that? Just answered it. Dirt. I like dirt. We got people on here who like uh, Osmocot and root tabs, and I don't know, you know, whatever you got to do. Jizza Roberts, holla. Jizza Roberts is a great name. If I had a son, I would have named him Jizza Wonderlick. Hey, I'm a guy who's asking for the first report you're asked for growing wheat. Yeah, exactly. Guys are asking for first. I'm sure. I'm sure, Paul Martin. Thank you, Paul, for the, the wonderful insight. Uh, hold on. It seems to work. Dude, I'm from Mexico. What's the opinion of Ranchu Goldfish? I like uh, I like where you can goldfish. Ranchu Goldfish, eh, hit or miss. Easiest fish to breed. You're looking at them. Platties, mollies, guppies, whatever. Picked up soil and gravel. Dirt your tank this weekend. Karen, get on it. You've been talking about that for a while, sister. It's time to do it. Uh, do you think a 10 gallon planted tank with blue velvet shrimp and blue mystery snails good way to go to start the hobby why not why not got any discus D ain't got no discus I got no discus any use for Amazon frog red spread fast yes Amazon frog red's the bomb what's up who for running again oh dude running running is like mega good feelings like I feel like a better human how great is the Sun setting behind me with the jungle valve can y'all just feel that for a minute can you can you get with me here can you enjoy that uh, what else watching the ghetto vids eco complete is garbage 
Uh, let's see here. What type of flow do you use? Uh, drill or hang on? I use uh, I use drill. Hang ons uh, aren't aren't great. I I drill. I just started drilling. I lost my virginity a couple videos ago on that. Scotland in the house. Phase two weed farm. No. Ah, uh, let's see here. Ray Osborne. What's going on, dude? T Town in the mix. Toledo. I'm not mad at you. I'm just squinting to read your questions. Uh, oh my god, it's one in the morning in the UK. Still thinking about doing cichlids? I am still thinking about doing cichlids in the new greenhouse, Christy. We'll see. Don't off and catch a live chat doing it. Wow, watching D. Man, you guys need to get a life. I'm boring as shit. Put your phone on. Go to bed. What's your favorite fish? Angelfish, but koi are like right behind there. Right behind there. My swords and Achilles breed all the time. Do amazing. Don't check levels. Water changes. Yep, there you go. Fort Lauderdale, what's up? Hey, hey, Ed Beam is, uh, I used to live in Boca. Is uh, Muggsy still in business in Pompano? That like heavy set dude with like the long hair? He had a great shop, just him. Muggsy on, on uh, shit. He was in Pompano. He was on, I forget what street he was on. His guy's name was Muggsy. He was on like, not A1A, like, I don't know. Fish store in Pompano, like, in, right by the uh, the intercoastal. If that place is still in business, I'd love to say hi to that dude. He was great. He sold me some Botia Angelicus. Uh, ever think about keeping native? Eh, nah. <coughs> Coughing on my own spit. Uh, Pufferfish, love them. Caught them with my own two bare hands in Peru. Check the videos. I'll link it up. Do Marble Queen swords get big? Yo, they get big. Huge. I don't really know, to be honest. I don't, I, I can't recall. The Marble Corradicans get real big. Chris, can you tell if a guppy's ready to give birth? Just, just give him time. Just give him a break. Can you recommend any easy background plants for a 20 gallon? You're looking at it behind me. It's called Jungle Valnaceria. That's right. Yo, D. That's twice you showed mad love on Insta here. Top man, I'm trying, Jizza. Dude, you got a name like Jizza, man. The MCs came to bring out the name. Mad to perform some hat. Snort cocaine to act insane. Yeah, I know a little woo. Ah, uh, what happened to turtles? I let the turtles go behind the post office. <coughs> <coughs> Tang is forever. Hey, woo, what's up? Yeah. Rarest plant in the hobby. It's a plant I don't have. I don't know. It's rare. You're the best on YouTube, bud. Thank you. Try. Show us all your angels. I got one angel, and he acts crunk, and he just doesn't look good. I don't have a life. There you go. What's the hardest fish to keep that you've ever kept? Um, Let's see here. That I've kept or that I've killed. <laughs> uh, hardest fish to keep? I uh, I only keep really hardy fish. I don't really mess with fragile stuff, so I can't really answer that. I had some uh, had some epistos that like a little lower pH. You get some of those altums from Germany where the conditions are harder water. Oh, that's a good call, Ted. I need to get some. I, I'm supposedly going to Germany at some point. Uh, my my yeah might be able to do that. Might pull off. Did. Uh, Dustin did just gill call surgery on my arowana. Do you need to water change or put meds in? You got to talk to Joey about that shit. I, that's not my game. I don't know about that. I've never done surgery on a fish. Platinum Angels number one. What's your favorite easiest to grow sword sword plant? Uh, I like the uh, I like the Plain Jane Amazons. Um, I also like those. Uh, oh, these are cool. What ones I got in there. I don't know. Swords are swords. Swords are great. Man, get get ones with the red veins. Those are fun. Um, would a bluegill be compatible? No. Come on. Neon tetras are beast. Hi. Shout out me, please. Jason Life, you got a shout out, buddy. Marble radicans get huge. Yes, they do. Uh, ever put piranhas in a UK pond during the summer? Um, piranhas are actually like illegal in Kentucky, and you could. Piranhas are way overrated. I didn't do a video on the most overrated fish. I kept piranhas. Piranhas are overrated. Fed black neon tetras with frozen bloodworms, defrosted, not too much, but now it looks like he has bloodworms coming out of his bum. Any ideas? He's probably just taking a shit, bonky man. Probably fed him too much. He had to rock a deuce. What's up? Haven't been back in a while. Subscribe back in 2003. Yeah, is anybody subscribing? Are there any subscribers? Can I get the little button push? Like the little, like, hey, I like this. Like maybe you're being entertained and you could, uh, Support me with a little like, like the little thumb action, so I can have some internal intrinsic rewards by your little liking. Can I get a like? There's five, six. <gasps> Made me day. I got a, a hit of endorphins from that. Thank you. See, oh wow, wow. Oh man, a bunch of likes from that. Appreciate it. No, for real, it helps me out. And if you subscribe, it's even better. You hit the notifications button. We hang out, we talk. I drink coffee and talk to you in the morning. 
I don't drink coffee. I talk to you at night. What's your favorite plant? Jungle Valnaceria right there behind me with the sun on it. Yeah, what's up? That's what I'm talking about. I really want to put fish in this tank, but I do too big of water changes. Devil's Ivy grown in goldfish tank. Safe? Ah, it should be safe. I, I've never heard of Devil's Ivy killing anything. I know there's some probably some bullshit about it. How do you feel about hydrocotyl triparta? I like it, DJ Parka. I had some over there that got kind of beat up by the snails. Hardest fish to keep, great white shark. Yeah, that all that great white sharks in Mig, Michigan is garbage. Why won't my angels show their stripes when they're in a tank for a month? They hate you, David Diaz. You need to treat them better. I don't know, dude. Just, just give them some time. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Have a dirty tank, only way to go. Love all these live videos, great format. Wait till you see this Sunday, you freaks. I got a whiteboard. I got it all going on for this Sunday. This Sunday, live, in the afternoon, haven't decided yet gonna give you guys like a marathon just like a D marathon in the afternoon it's gonna be a beautiful day I'm gonna take time out of my beautiful day I'm gonna bring it to you raw like shimmy shimmy y'all Sunday live it's gonna be fun me and my crooked bottom teeth uh, how long does it take to acclimate tiger barb fish not long Michael you're better than that why won't my dojo loach grow dojo loach are the bomb you should feed him feed him more I will sub please sub please just just one sub two sub three sub four Snoop Doggy Dog and Dirty Dustin at your door. Bonky Man, thanks. Loving the Black Neons are underrated. Uh, yeah, but they're all right. What's your favorite type of guppy? I don't know, man. There's so many types of guppies. It's too hard to figure out. New to the channel. Got into the hobby. Glad I found your channel. Cool. Welcome, Jerry. Welcome. He subbed. He subbed. He subbed. Can anybody else hit the sub? Sub the button. Push the button. Oh, bug. See that? Kill it with my one hand. Pow, like that. I subbed. Have you ever caught Devil's Hole pupfish? Nope. Uh, you should get some koi angels. I had some red angels that I paid like 50 bucks for back in the day that died quick. What's the min temperature for convict cichlids? Convict cichlids do not care. 68, 65. Where to find guppy grass? I got all kinds of hornwort over here for you. I don't know if you need guppy grass specifically. I got hornwort on dustinsfishtanks.com forward slash buy dash stuff. New website coming soon. UV sterilization is not worth it, Seattle Mantis. Uh, ah, yeah. Wow, this guy's out and block. Uh, Dustin going to dirt my next tank. Pool footer sand, better, cool. Ha! Ah, Scott's asking the questions. I got the bugs. I took a shower today. Do you heat your greenhouse in the winter? I heat the water in my greenhouse, and if I'm hanging out in it for a long time, I will heat it. Let's all sub. But I actually heat the water. The water makes the hot air rise. The hot air rises out of the water and heats the air. Gets down to about 40. We had a mild winter this year, though. So I'm a little nervous about the winter ahead, particularly if I buy this big-ass greenhouse that I've been running my app about. But we'll see. We'll just see. We'll just we'll just play it by ear. We'll just we'll work hard, and we'll see what happens. Guppies, platters, or swords? I don't know. Too hard. Uh, Super Red's pretty small. I know some people addicted to sub. Addicted to sub? I don't know what that means. That's some new drug you kids are on. Whiteboards rock from a software developer looking for... Guppy Canal, I have to ban you for it, dude. I have to ban you. I have to block you. You ask that same question. You never bring any value. You always ask the same question. You're blocked. Sorry. Ever kept crayfish once when I was a kid and I saw him swinging around. Oh, I've got a video tomorrow about um, one of the legends in this hobby that died. to crazy stuff. Um, so yeah. Ever kept crayfish? Yeah. Uh, they caught my angelfish and I immediately ripped both of his claws off. You should put hornwort in your pond. Uh, I actually have a ridiculous amount of... Uh, of an acarus in my pond. Really doing good. How much did the greenhouse cost you? The, the concrete floor with the drain in it. With the drain right there. That drain was like extra cash. Extra data. Um, the greenhouse cost me three grand for the concrete slab. And the greenhouse itself was like six. I took all the boxes out. And I thought, oh, this will be done this weekend. Took me three months to build this biatch. Make sure you check out the videos on that. I might have just recently deleted them to get better friendly with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, what's the best brand when it comes to air pumps? Now, Ehi makes a pretty solid air pump. Forgive us, dingus. Dustin, is it normal to have very high pH in a new pond? Ooh, I wouldn't like the pH 8.6, but the fish don't care, you shouldn't care. All right. Dustin, have you ever kept African clawed frogs or anything similar? No, I have not. Uh, you need mods, whatever. All right, whatever. Sub my channel, blah, blah. Cleveland or Golden Star? Oh, come on, Brown, Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. Cleveland Cavs. I mean, come on now. Finley boy right here. Ever kept crayfish once destroyed my planet tank? Yeah, I won't be doing that. Dustin, do you know anything about good about uh, anything good for fish parasites? Yeah. Great question, Bobby Green. 
Bobby Green line one. Um, fish parasites, internal parasites we're talking, uh, you want to feed them inside. So you want to use metrodizolol flakes. I forget who makes them, but they make them. And that way it's ingested and it kills them, but you got to make sure you treat hardcore. I had some old, old, old videos where I was treating uh, air, uh, rainbows with metrodizolol flakes, which is great. But you got to treat them hard and you got to make sure if you see like poop, like it looks like they're poop swimming. They got serious internal problems. I lost them. Beautiful Melatonea, or no, uh, Wamanensis rainbow because of that. So be careful with that. Thank you. Let us know when you have your website up. It's up right now. DustinSwishTanks.com is up right now. It just sucks right now. Thanks to all the customer feedback on that, though, getting it uh, beefed up, churned out for you all. You have an awesome pond. Thank you. What's sick are you thinking about getting? Frontosis and Labetochromis. Uh, let's see here. Sicker than a dog right now. Going cold. Happy you're all live stream. Cheer you up. I try, Aquatazi. Good to see you, dude. It's been a minute. Favorite type of goldfish? Uh, koi are my favorite, and then Ryukin goldfish. The red one's not too fat. I actually met that dude that did the guppy video. He was telling me he's getting goldfish from Japan that are like real like quality. Somebody had to hit him up. Cabs all day. What kind of fish to put in my three gallon tank? One betta, that's it. Ever tried Malay Malaysian shrimp? Breed in fresh water, weird larva stage. You can go cherries, go with cherries without interbreeding. Try it, go for it. I've never done it though. Doing, I'm doing good, buddy. Greenhouse that you got to, oh yeah, dude. You got to rock the floor drain. That's actually one of the issues with the new one. I don't know if it has a floor drain or not. We'll find out though. Uh, no fish in the pond, yikes. D, your team is great at USPS, lost, or my neighbor stole a light that I ordered. Tammy helped, we ordered another one, my P.O. box. Oh, that sucks, Lyle, ah, uh, and your name isn't Lyle, it's really something else in are in Louisville. Uh, William Usher, I know you, baby. Sorry about that, dude. You got, you have your, have my LEDs, dude, they're a fire. We'll take care of you on that, man, sorry about that. Brown, will the Browns be ass this year? Oh, the Browns will be terrible this year. The Browns, I mean, like, the Browns are horrible. They're a horrible organization, and that's my life as a Browns fan. They're a horrible organization. You should get Krebenz. It's not a bad idea. Um, how do you feed catfish in my tank? I feed all the food. I don't know how to get food to the catfish. You feed a lot, and then they'll eat it. Uh, senior vids like the Bible for fish tankers. I try. Have fronts that are awesome, cool. Would you recommend start up with the planet tank? I would. The lesson I'm teaching this Saturday or uh, Sunday will be all about it. Do you grow weed in your house? No. Second time I've answered that question today. Dustin, could I be this sharp if I was all high and shit? Dustin, I have a brown algae constantly on my Java fern and Crips. Can never get rid of it. Water flow, big the foot. Weird name. Drew, I'm new to keeping fish and want live plants. What should I get? I have Molly's and Fish. Get Jungle Val, an Acris, Elodia, something. I mean, does this, does this make anybody else happy? Can you guys just take this in with me for a minute? Like, this is like the sun setting on the jungle bile tank. Like that's like nice for me, I like that. Would you consider a distributor in the UK? I don't know anything about the UK. Come on to Steelers. Oh man, we were doing so good. Can I lean back on this? Hang on. I'm gonna try to get cozy with y'all. Uh, yeah, I can lean on that. No, not really, not, not very comfortably, but whatever. Um, keyhole cichlids, I got a keyhole cichlid. No, I got a checkerboard cichlid in the basement actually. Uh, peacocks. I do like peacocks. And if I were to get peacocks straight up, I'd get them from Mike D and Jacob at Imperial Tropicals because those boys got it going on. Uh, cool. What else? A couple months ago, I ordered 12 snares from you and turned into 200 plus. Nice. That's how we roll, baby. Bring back the 220. I need to. I need to. It's been neglected. I'm busy. Bows are, yeah, they're pretty good. Duh, awesome tank. You should be proud of. Softball practice, be good. Show some boost. My boost took a beating. Had a little kill off on some boosts. Had to put it underneath the metal halide right here. And uh, let's get it growing back fast. Can you show the floating plant behind you? That is actually just jungle bow floating uh, underneath the light. So can't really show it, it's too wet. Graham Salt with Iridescent Sharks, never done it. UK sucks when it comes to aquatics. Uh, hit up George Farmer, he's a UK dude. Anywhere to buy fancy plecos that ships to Canada? No clue, Canada's tough, man. What's the best place to best plant to put in with Malawali peacocks? You want to get yourself some Anubius Nana or Afazeli. You order the uh, Anubius combo off of DustinsFishTanks.com and uh, get yourself some. Say yo, D, throw me some wire. I'll throw some wire in with your order. Wire that stuff up to stuff. You really got to wire it though, for real, because the peacocks will tear it up. How do you feel about plants and silver dollars in the same tank? As long as it's not jungle valve. 
I'm getting sick of, sick of looking at myself. Can I do Q&A and show you guys fish at the same time? Look, he's getting busy on it right now. You guys want to see it? Never mind about the Nerax and I forgot you sell them. Thought about the angel fish. Looks like weed, to be honest. I'm sure it does. Everybody wants to talk about the weed. Any advice on algae and Anubias? That's easy, Gus. You want to increase your water flow? All right, I'm going to show them getting busy. Watch this. Look at him. He's chasing her around, trying to hump on her. See that? He's like, give me some of that. He's trying to get with her. Uh, what keeps you motivated? The fact that I'm doing something that I, I the, the, I'm going to look back at you again. What keeps me motivated? Here's what keeps me motivated. You ready? I wake up and I ask myself, if I could have any job in the world, what would it be? And I have a little self mantra that I'll spare you all with. Because the worst feeling I would ever have in my whole life is to wake up and be 60 or 55 or old and be like, man, what if I had tried this? That's what keeps me motivated. You ready? I'm going to say it again. What keeps me motivated, and if you like this comment, please like it. Uh, hit the button. The uh, is the fact that I know that like if I was like 70 or like 80 or old as shit, no offense to anybody that's that old, like and I was be like, man, I wish I would have tried. And I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing. At least I can say like I'm trying. Look, you think I make a lot of money on a $49 beginner combo? You're kidding yourself. But I do a lot of fun shit. You know, I have a fun life. So it's fun. So that's what keeps me motivated. Good question. A little heart to heart with you. Uh, most difficult plant you've ever kept? I probably killed it. I don't know. Uh, took your advice. Went from the jungle valley on 180. Had runners. Yeah, there you go. That's right, Sam. Fish porn. You like that? How do you ever deal with fin rod on bettas? Never had it. Not really sure. Go get them tiger later. Later time. Cool. Knowledge ain't none of Oh, that's right, baby. Bomb atomically. Socrates philosophies and hypotheses. Do you have a Fubo 404 on one of your tanks? Dude, I got an FX4 right there. I got, I got an FX4 running on this up there. I got... Hump, fish humping over there. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got all that. What else? Uh, 24 labs. There you go. Follow your heart. Java moss turned brown and it's wilting away on my shrimp tank. Had grown a huge mass a year. Uh, how am I killing this plant? Something changed in your water, Scott. Something changed. Likes are growing. I'm trying to get the likes. Wow. How much shit did you sniff today? Oh my god. My nose is running. Half a key. You know, took it out. I feel good, Nelson. You should be happy that I have enthusiasm for this great hobby. Ah, uh, Rickard wants some weed from the greenhouse. There ain't no weed in the greenhouse. Going back to the Amazon, I want to, but I want to have a new greenhouse more. And the trick is to buy the greenhouse and then import a bunch of crazy ass epistogramma bitaniatas that you catch yourself and then have them and live with them in the, in the greenhouse. So step one, buy a new greenhouse. Step two, uh, go to Peru. Thoughts on beta sororities? I'm all about sororities. Never had one though. Get a German red peacock. You like any nano fish? A little, yeah. A little, I do. Oh yeah. Everybody wants to know, talk about the weed. Freaking weed heads. All right, I'm sorry I didn't hear your common uh, plecos kept a birches. Never kept them, couldn't tell you. Uh, I haven't kept birches in a long time. Probably though, I would think they'd be okay. I was kidding, must be hard to take care of those big tanks, water changes. I have Josh. Josh does it, step three. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see here. Saw your ghetto tank, water lettuce, gotta try my house, new growth, original leaves turning yellow. Cut those off. Yeah, cut those off. Mari Saul. It's the name of a kid nearby me. That's hilarious. Uh, four fancy goldfish, 46 gallon, bow front, aqua clear, 110. Good or bad? How big are the goldfish? Depends. I do big water changes. Making a good living doing this hobby. I make enough living to survive and support my means and, you know, I only worry about money a little bit. I don't know. I mean... Still gotta hustle though. I mean, it's just there's there's you can't compare like when you sell a quarter million dollar phone system to when you have like a buy one get one free sale. Like the, 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 the commissions aren't the same. But I enjoy what I do. Like, I get to sit here and run my shit about uh, fish tanks, and I get to, like access to cool shit and like cool fish. And I well, when I was 14 years old, I uh, I like was really into fish tanks, and I'm still in. And that was 22 years ago. So I genuinely love what I do. And a lot of people can't say that. And I wake up and I'm excited to do shit. I mean, I've been on YouTube every damn day for like the past, I don't know, six days just because I enjoy doing it. The only thing I like more is to be actually hanging out in person. But yeah, no, I, I don't, I wouldn't say make a good living. I live a great life. I got a buddy who makes like 400 grand a year. I wouldn't trade lives with him straight up. He makes like, he's rocky. He's, he's, he's guy's got like a car payment that's like two grand a month. I don't want that shit. I got fish tanks. Ah, uh, what else? Do you like boxing? No. I like wrestling. Thank you, and that's funny. Cool. Plecos suck. Eh, you know. Three inches of water. Three inch water every day. Seattle roll with that. 
Would adding another LED help carpet plants better? Yes, but you also want to concern yourself with how much of uh, nutrients you have at your substrate. DJ Parker. Tank has been fish in cycle for six weeks. Still no nitrous. What's going on? I did add the fish. Six weeks. Whatever. You're good. Tank's been sitting six weeks. Put them in. What do you love? Money. What do you love? What do you love and money? Do what you love and money becomes a byproduct of it. Eh, yes and no. How much uh, for a tank and what size do you sell? I don't sell tanks. I sell a lot of stuff for the tanks. I got combos from 49 bucks on up the chain. Are you going to expand the website to fish? If you give this population of those libraries, new greenhouse will happen. You know, I don't know. Uh, shipping fish would kind of suck. Like, because it's like they die and then who wins? We both lose. You get dead fish. I lose money. So I don't really know about selling fish. What I was thinking about doing with the greenhouse is being open like one day a week. Just being like, yo, this Saturday I'm open. Come hang out. And I'll just do a bunch of shit. I love fishing. Somebody's asking me that. How bad do you like It's not bad. It's not bad. Quality of life is everything from one who's tried and failed something different. Went back to tech. Great role model. Cool. Appreciate it, Ted. Set them new tank. Wonder what plants to get. Beginner plant a combo. Dustin'sFishTanks.com. Big the foot. Are there any areas of aquariums that you would like to but never got around to experience? I mean, I'm in my own vein, you know? Like, I like my planted tanks. Like, that's it. That's my zone. That's my happy place. That's what I like to do. So, I'm not really, like, I'm really liking how I can get into this. Like, I feel like I've gotten really good at growing plants, and I get better rewards doing that. I've gotten real into snails. I got real into koi. I would get seriously, seriously, seriously into koi. You shipped to Canada? Yes. I got you, Ted. I just started 180 gallon about two weeks ago. A couple really big goldfish about the size of a water bottle just headed to Pleco. Cool, good for you. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Luke Michael. Where do you buy your tanks? Craigslist. Jizza, same age, yeah. I tried. Going to subscribe to your channel. Cool, I'm a former pro wrestler, USA Pro now. There you go. Get a hold of me. You mean like pro wrestler like, like with the makeup and shit or like singlets and like Olympics? Either way, good for you. That's awesome. Love your live stream, finally caught it. Cool, phone's almost dead. Your phone's almost dead. Meyer, what you been able to do with your channel? Cool, hire hustle. You gotta hustle, baby. Gotta eat right, another day, another hustle. Uh, using floodlights in a tall tank, carpet plans, you can try. It depends on the spectral composition. I need to make a lighting video. Maybe seasonal shipping would work. Eh, you know, who knows. Hi, thanks for replying. A comment about CO2, looking forward to the video. Are South American cichlids or African cichlids harder to keep? Uh, I'm gonna tell you African cichlids are probably easiest to keep. I'm gonna plug in here. I'm gonna plug in. I'm gonna plug in for you all. So yeah, African cichlids are probably easiest to keep. Uh, does your wife have any interest in the hobby? At one point she did, but she does not anymore. Don't know more. These burn her out. She's done. Uh, let's see here. Do you really think German blue rams are difficult to keep? Are right, they sensitive? Yeah, you asked my opinion. I told you. I don't think they're. I don't think they're easy to keep. Sorry, Joey John. Just a. Are you ever gonna get rabbit snails in? I tried, dude. I order them like once a week from an importer. They never send them. Wait, you live in Ohio? No, I live in Kentucky. Hi. Any suggestions on what fish to add? Demisoni barbs. Whatever you like. I don't know. They can. Eat. I'm not sure. Demisoni barbs are actually never kept. Uh, German blue rams in community. I'm not a fan of German blue rams, straight up. Like, I'm just not a fan of... Get the Bolivian rams. They're, I think they're better. Do you have a Yamabuki Ogon koi? I do have a Yamabuki Ogon. I do. How difficult was to start importing? It's very hard. Extremely hard. Like, like ask me about the time I lost $3,600 on importing. Yeah, $3,600. Almost 4 Gs. Gone. And guess what? I had to pay... I had to pay... Listen to this shit. I had to pay $500 bucks for the U.S. government to destroy my plants. You catching that? 3600 bucks lost and I had to pay money to have the plants destroyed. Yeah. You want battle wounds? That sucked. Oh, that's glowing there, isn't that great? Green Severum Angelfish, cool. Yes, live. See on TV, Indie Pro Wrestler, nice. I'm out, check you later, cool. Greenhouse, keep the wife sweet, yeah. Coloration with the king of, collaboration with I don't know what that means. King, I mean, I talk to Joey all the time. I'd say Joey. I don't think Solid Gold likes me. So, you know, probably Joey. I mean, Joey and I are just, you know, friends. I mean, who the hell else has a YouTube channel that, that does it full time? Lighting video would be cool. Just sub. Thank you, sub, for the sub. Best color enhancing fish food. 
Ah, uh, shit. I mean, I'm feeding a lot of the stuff from Rod's Foods. I'm trying to sit down here with you. What size t-shirt do you wear, Dustin? I wear a large, large cotton. Uh, any live events coming up? Reef of Palooza, the Meadowlands, June 24th, 25th. Do you have any other pets other than fish? I have a cat, or I have a dog. I had a cat. My cat died. Let me feed these guys for you guys. Hang on. I was supposed to be fixing this project. I wanted to show you guys my new scissor cutter thing. So, there you go. Oh, low battery. I got to get moving. Can you keep Bolivian Rams? Kentucky. Kentucky stands for KFC. Hamburgs on Instagram. Wow, it's crazy. I'm done. This is funny. Cool. Getting a bigger greenhouse. Trying to. Trying to. Trying to get a bigger greenhouse. Where do you order after this one? Real Tropicals. Do you live stream a quarter from Aquarium Co-op? No thanks. Aw, kitty. No. What kind of greenhouse? A hobby. Aquascape Nano Tank. Would you ever visit Joey's Gallery when he opens in the future? Yeah. Hey, I finally got my first Super Chat. I've never had one. Oh my God, five bucks? Shit, I'll plug in for that. Hang on. Five dollars. I didn't know Super Chat was even a thing. Wow, someone's paying me to talk to them? It's insane. Hang on. Hang on, plug you in. All right, let's see here. You have helped me set up. Arthur Diaz bringing the $5 holler. I didn't know I could get make $5 an hour here. Have you helped me set up three planted tanks in my home and tanks for classroom and students with your videos? Oh, thank you. Oh, dude, Arthur, like, seriously, like, you don't need to pay me to say that shit, dude. That's awesome. Like, thank you for the super chat. That's really cool. Just to, like, shoot the doo-doo. How cool is that? Sunlight, Jungle Val, you like that? That's a good thumbnail. I'm going to pause it. All right. Collaboration. Uh, do I watch porn now? Dude, Mr. Jaguar, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, how do you get platies uh, to breed? Oh, dude, dude, platies breed easy. Just feed them really good. That's simple. Just feed them really, really, really a lot, and then they'll do fine. And do big water changes. Oh, what type of inline water do you use? Uh, that's a good question. I use a stable Eltron. Really a high quality uh, thing. Stable Eltron. They're not paying me to say that. Like, that's just a quality brand. I research the shit out of it. Uh, love it. Answer my Instagram DM. Just ask it here, Patrick. Get a lot of them. I'm trying. Mari Soul. Did you subscribe yet? Can I get a subscriber out of this? Maybe two. What size tank for Green 7 Big? What's up? How do you breed catfish? Depends. Digging a sunlight tank. Isn't that fat? I'm digging it too. What's up, Kyle? Man. I got no water. Yeah, so folks... It's been real fun. I've had a real good time. I need to go inside. I need to grab my notebook. I need to write out what I'm doing tomorrow. It includes a video. Uh, I've also got a uh, thank you for the sub. Have you ever kept uh, Lake Timber rainbow fish? No, but I do have some badass rainbow fish to show you guys real quick if you can if you can dig it. Ever got quarry cats to spawn once? Uh, big water changes. Drop them with cold water. Some people say throw ice in it. Uh, why do you? Why did you do a greenhouse instead of an actual building? Billy Bob Joe Schmidt. The answer is because it's sunlight. I got natural sunlight in here. Cool. So yeah, that's that's why I want the natural sunlight. I want light to be hitting my plants at all times, whether I'm paying for it or not. I mean, like I got the sun. The only thing that sucks is in the winter I gotta uh, wrap it up and uh, keep it warm. But I just seal it up real good and use heaters. But it's worth it because in the summer I grow. I can grow everything. Like that's. Those are hard plants to grow right there, and I've got them like growing and fish breeding in them, so it's kind of like the best thing ever for me. Yep, so it's fun. Oh, I'm gearing myself up. This is just a practice run. Have you owned all eyes? No. Keep calm, just doggy style. Wow. Cool, pulling my leg. You pulled it. Ah, oh, thanks, you got it. Yeah, just a warm up session. Warming up for the Sunday session with your boy D. Better than editing videos, just answering questions. Can I do this? Can I like set this here and do some talking? That, oh, that'll drop in a fish tank. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever done. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Greenhouse looks like it's cool. Yo, this flower right above me here, thing flower on its own. I like hardly ever water neglected it. Totally cool. Ontario, Canada gets too cold. To, yeah, no, you wouldn't want to do that in Canada. It's too, too tough. Too tough. I live in Cincinnati. Are you close to that? I'm in Lexington, folks. What time is it here? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You tell me. I'm staring at a little timer thing. So, yep. So it's time to make phase two. It's time to get out my pen. And uh, it's not. It's not raining. It's because I got fish pumps. I gotta get phase two. I gotta figure it out. Talk amongst yourselves while I figure it out. 
No, it's not raining. It's just the... There's the shade cloth. That's how it keeps warm. Awesome channel, bro. Cool. Need to watch your lights. Need to watch some of your lights and bulbitis. Uh, dude, hook it up, Jeff. I got a website. You got a credit card. Let's go. Uh, setting up 15 more 20 longs. Oh, dude. Get one of my long LEDs, man. That'll work. Show the rainbows. Do you want a reality show? No, this is a reality show. This is real. These reality shows aren't real. Hang on. Let me... Uh, we set you all down here, and I'll get some food for the rainbows. Let me plug the rainbows in real quick. Hang on. Rainbows will be on in three, two, one, boom. Here are the rainbows. No, I have a fireman in New York who gave me the shirt. Those rainbows just got really colored up, too. Just got fancy. African cichlids. I don't have any African cichlids. I'm showing you my rainbows. Head idea for a mobile store, back truck, headquarters, fish room. How the hell could you do a mobile fish store? Love the wilds. Double rainbows all the way. Yeah, you like that? Look at those rainbows right there. Those rainbows were caught by this man right here. Gary Lang. Isn't that sick? That's why you go to shows. And then look down here real quick. Check those out. Can you guys see that? Bunch of little babies. Those ones dropping, dropping babies. Love it. Where'd you get the, where, what is your best breeding fish? Probably these guys, well, I don't know. No, these, these, uh, these guys breed the best. I'm running out of battery, folks. I gotta plug back in. How you like them rainbows, though? Connection's gonna go to crap. Look at these, these red tiger lotus, by the way. How sick are those? What happened to Ivan video? I don't know who that is. I've, oh, he had that one video he did out in the wild. Hang on. I don't know, he did that cool video, got a bunch of views, and then he never did another video. All right, what happened? I don't know. Just moved, two Oscars, two clown knives, Jack Dempsey, catfish. 125, all set up last week. Good for you, David, it sounds fun. What size CO2 tank would you recommend? 55 gallon tank. Uh, just get the biggest one you can afford, dude. Uh, I have a guy, Josh, helps me do it. He's actually been texting me while I'm doing this. What are the Specker colored swordtails? I knew somebody was going to ask me that. Uh, not sure really what they are. Just moved two Oscars, clown knives, Jack Dempsey, bunch of convicts, plecos, uh, 20 gallon tank. Oh, lilies are awesome. You like that? What's up, Mr. Lee? Dustin, I have a 10 gallon with seven neons and a Chinese algae eater. What can I add to it? Nothing. Nothing, girl. Nothing. You can't do nothing. You can add a couple more neons, then you can get rid of that Chinese algae eater because they're mean as shit. Uh, I don't know who that is. Sweet looking rainbows, thanks. Ah. How do you plant and grow from ball propagation? Just let them roll. What happened to your fancy goldfish? Uh, I gave them to my neighbor down the street. It's fun, cool. I have never been happier, so I'm glad I subscribed. Cool. Love it. It's getting hella getting big gray. I don't know what that means. Love black libraries, bro. Congrats on the fry. Thank you. Can you go back to the red tiger lotus? I think one of those thrown in order a month ago. It's killing it in my tank. Oh, dude. Those. Dude, the, the red tiger lotus that I'm growing myself and I'm bringing in my bulbs imported is like it's just fun. Just fun. Just fun. Uh, what tank do you recommend for starter? 20 long would be my recommendation. Can I, uh, I'm rolling around here. Any plans going back to South America? Um, no, I wouldn't really do, I, I mean, I would go to Africa, but, um, uh, I'm trying. Uh, it, I, South America would be better I'd go. I just have, I speak enough Spanish to get around, and I just, like, I, the, the guy I go with, Devin Graham, is just amazing. How come you don't make your own furts? I have my own furts in the mix. Uh, I'm trying to actually increase the, one of the levels of one of the chemicals in it to make it better than everybody else's. So uh, I need to make my own furts. It's in, the, it's in the mix. Let's just put it that way. It's in the mix. So, yeah.
Oh, dude, come on. Local fish store can take your fish. I have a pet goldfish. Good. Cool. Do you do YouTube full-time? Kinda. I wonder, like... No. Yes. Did you worry about diseases you can? What about... Do you, did you worry about all the diseases you can in South America? No, not at all, man. I'm a grown-ass man. I watch what I eat. I ate... The last night I was there, though, I, uh... I ate, um ceviche after five and I I sat up in my bed and was puking and I was like this is gonna be a long ass day because I was like throwing up right before I got on a flight luckily I puked and I felt better I drank some water and I was good but I was like oh my god I'm gonna be on flights for like eight hours and just throwing up was miserable but I was okay I'm not a fireman no, I, a fireman New York gave me it wish you'd been alive when I moved my fish could have used your advice for the big one sorry would bulbitis work with African cichlids yes let me show you what you do with the bulbitis we grab the wire like this. We grab the wire like this. You say, yo, D, throw me some of this wire, and I put this wire in with your order. I got the bomb will bite us right now. I imported myself. And then, uh, do I follow Brian on YouTube? Uh, no, Brian didn't have a YouTube channel. I wish he did. Yeah, I know. It's a firefighter shirt. This is what you use. So, yeah. Enjoy this. Little setup, little warmer. It's better than uh, editing videos, I can tell you that much. I'm having a lot more fun doing live than I am editing videos. What's wrong with Chinese algae eaters? Uh, Cory cats to die the next. Uh, Miss Elite, I would tell you that the uh, the, Siam the algae eaters are just, uh, they get mean. If they're not nicking at the neons, you're probably fine. So I wouldn't really worry about that. It's more like the size of your tank. You got to get a 20. Come on, get a 20. What's the average pH in the water in my tanks? Uh, I don't actually test pH. It's probably like 7. So... Cool. I want to show you guys some more fish. If I had my uh, had my other light on, I'd show you my rainbows and my uh, my Amano's tank. Does your dad still keep fish? No, actually, he had a uh, good question. He had a fish that uh, that recently uh, died. He had a pleco named Petey, which was actually my fish that died, and uh, so he hasn't kept fish. Got any cranium tans? I don't. My cranium tans are out. I'm looking to get more from Africa in a little bit. Any advice on a BML strip lights? Yeah, call Nick Class and ask him what the hell's up with it. Uh, BML makes good lights. I'm not going to BS it. They're out of the lighting game now for us, though. More room for me. You're better. How are they? They're good. They're good. I want to show you guys one last tank over here before I get out. I put my head in a cowboy. It sucks. Hang on. Show y'all over here. Show y'all these guys. One sec. Check out these. Wow, hallelujah. That's right. Can you have too can you have too much algae for algae eaters? Yeah. If you don't like the look of it, you got too much. Uh your bet is how are they? They're good. Wanting what lights off your website. What are your minutes? Uh yo Matt, what how many inches long is your 60 gallon, dude? Is it 48 inches? Because I got my 48 inch standard double. Free shipping anywhere in the US. You guys see those fish? They're really sick. As in good. Look at the long fin on that one. Like that? There you go. Oh, canceled. I'm doing something wrong here. How much iron should I add? Five milliliters per uh, 10 gallons to start every other day. Five foot, oh dude, 60 inch standard double, dude. This light right here, Matt, this light, it's all you need. It'll look like this, it'll be, whoa, shit. Uh, it'll be 60 inches long, free shipping. Say I saw it on uh, YouTube, dude, and I'll throw you a free dimmer. It's easy. What does iron do for fish tank? Iron uh, is a micronutrient, but it works really well with CO2 absorption. I'll show you these real quick. Do I have a saltwater tank? No. Not really trying to have a saltwater tank. Not trying to have a saltwater tank. I don't like doing water chains. Not trying to do it. I'm going to Reaper Palooza though. You sell that light? Yeah, this is my standard double LED. It's got two rows of LEDs. You see them? One white, one red. Throws the piss out of plants too. Cool. No relay for the live. There's no relay at all for the live stream. Not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it plays. Yeah, I sell lights. Got my own line. It's my standard double. 
How much light's using? Well, I got I, I cheat because I got the uh, the the greenhouse for full sun. So, um, oh my god, I wanted to go. I don't know where I'll be this year. Cool, come. Want a liar tail all, PD? And now, uh, there you go. There's the fancy liar tail. All right, folks. I'm out of breath. I'm out of gas. Uh, how much iron should I be adding? Well, you gotta you gotta dose like everything like systematically, right? So you gotta have like a little of, like you can't just dose iron. You gotta add iron, and potassium, and all of it, and do your big water changes. So, folks, I love you. I'm out. I will talk to you on Sunday uh, in the afternoon. Haven't decided when. You'll get the notification. If you haven't subscribed and you like this, please subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. Helps you out maybe. And uh, yeah. How much are the lights you're using? Uh, the 48 inch one is uh, 197 free shipping to the US, all over the US. So I'm out. Can I get a subscribe? Can I get a share? Tank on everybody. Be good. I wish I could double subscribe. Oh, miss, you can. You can. You can like it. You can share it. Tell your friends. We can be friends. It was fun. I had fun. This was fun. Tank on everybody. I'm out. Later.